At the first Cancer Relay for Life event on the West Rand in Gauteng, participants of all ages arrive in their droves, signing up in their teams, making acquaintances, buying this and that, and settling in for the night ahead. During which awareness is created and funds are raised. Yes, God has chosen you to bring the message of life and hope to those who still. While visitors become familiar with those who have survived, and even those who have not survived, official welcomes and opening prayers are made, and a mood of anticipation rises as the sun begins to set on the day. Angeline Brink introduces us to the evening activities. Okay, this is the Western Gauteng's first Relay for Life. So we're very proud to host it tonight. And basically we want to celebrate our cancer survivors. They are the VIPs of this night. The Relay for Life event offers the community an opportunity to give recognition to long-term survivors. In turn, these survivors then offer great hope to those only just beginning their journey with cancer. Cancer survivors add greatly to the impact of the event. In fact, the more survivors that are involved in the event, the more successful it becomes. But it is not only the survivors who are recognized. A special lap of honor is offered to their caregivers too. At Relay for Life, everyone understands the challenges and joys of being a caregiver. So we are walking in support of them, Relay style, um, in teams with 10 to 15 people right through the night. We started at 5 and we're only ending at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. But also we're thinking of those who didn't make it through the, the cancer disease. And for them we actually light luminaria bags to show our support to their families and friends. Perhaps the most moving and reverent part of the agenda is the luminaria or lighting of candles to recognize and celebrate the lives of those taken by cancer. It is with hope that our souls are nurtured, our dreams are fulfilled. It is a time to think about those who struggled bravely, those who helped all they can, and those left behind. It is also a time to give hope to those who are managing the battle and inspire everyone to cope with their burden. There is much love to be shared here, and as respects are paid with prayers and memories, the mood gradually turns to celebration and fun with the certainty of knowing that by participating in this event, one is not only coping, but also making a substantial difference. A difference to raise funds to support educators, outreach programs, and research to combat and weaken the impact that cancer has on our communities. Angeline tells us of the origins of the concept. The Relay concept actually comes from America. So we actually bought the whole concept from them, from the American Cancer Society. And they are actually running it throughout the world. They're giving the training and they've trained South Africans to do their own Relay to show the support to our cancer patients in our country. Yes, each team, we see that it's a 500 registration fee to partake in the Relay. And in whatever fundraising they wanted to do, in whatever way, they made it interesting. It was their own ideas to raise the funds Cancer. At the start line, each and every team is introduced to the crowd and given the opportunity to say what they're all about. Hundreds and hundreds of high-spirited participants set off on their night of continuous walking. Many teams have taken the portrayal of their creative identity quite seriously with t-shirts or banners or mascots or scarves to set them apart from others. Each team pays a 500 rand entry fee and is expected to raise a minimum of 2000 rand for cancer. Most teams enthusiastically collect way more than that minimum. A vital component of the event's success is the all-night entertainment. The continuous relay of performances ranging from kids' theatre to singers to musicians to karate demonstrations keeps the spirit warm, jovial and alive. We chatted to some participants as the night wore on. Um, I've walked a lot tonight, not tired yet. 
I'm from Krugersop Medicross. Eventually, we managed to corner this year's event chair, Lee Lerm. Well, you need to be interested because you need to help us fight cancer. And without visibility, without people hearing messages, without people seeing it, we cannot fight cancer. Um, and that's why we need you to assist us to be able to fight against cancer. Because it is actually such a bad illness and it is so severe that without you and sometimes without people not seeing what's actually happening, they'll stay unaware and they'll never make healthy choices. And that's what we need. We need them to be aware so that they can make healthy choices and change their own lifestyle. I think the whole relay is very dear to my heart. I think to me it's a part of healing. And to a lot of people out here, it's a part of healing. Without our caregivers, without the people that love us, we cannot fight cancer. Without people that are out there now walking the track and it's cold tonight, they are there for the cause. You know, I haven't had one person here complaining about anything. Um, they are so enthusiastic. I mean, it's nearly two o'clock in the morning and people are still walking. And that's what's amazing. It's really great. The night is cool, but the spirits are warm. Each team holds the vigil of a walker on the field at all times. Eventually, the sky begins to turn from black to silver as more and more people rise to greet the new day. The Karate Dojo holds a dawn demonstration as preparations are made for prize giving and a raffle draw. Thank each and every one of you for relaying with us through the night. I know it was very cold. I didn't sleep, I was away. Amongst other things, awards are offered for the most money raised. The Karate Club to please come up. They actually raised the most money for us. The best team spirit. And the best team overall. A special recognition is given for volunteers, such as emergency services personnel on standby. All team captains are asked to collect medals in recognition of their participation. As participants are asked to give one more lap in honor of the fight against cancer, it is time to consider the success of the all-night event. The relay is certainly a moving celebration of cancer survivorship. The newly diagnosed have met and been inspired by existing survivors. Caregivers and volunteers have had a lot of fun. Colleagues and empathizers have made meaningful contributions and met new friends. And participating teams have become stronger and re-energized. Families and young people have been thoroughly engaged. But perhaps most strong is the feeling one takes home of the warmth of camaraderie and a spirit of well-being. Lee Lerm offers her final thoughts. It's the cheapest team build you've ever had and it will definitely get all emotions running because at 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning you start getting tired, you're cold and you still carry on. It's the best team build you can have because it actually touches somebody's heart. Please get involved in Relay for Life so you can change somebody's life. <laughs>